When pregnant, the cells of the baby migrate into the mother's bloodstream and then circle back into the baby. It's called fetal maternal microchimerism. For 41 weeks, the cells circulate and merge backward and forwards, and after the baby is born, many of these cells stay in the mother's body, leaving a permanent imprint in the mother's tissues, bones, brain, and skin, and often stay there for decades. Every single child a mother has afterward will leave a similar imprint on her body too. Even if a pregnancy doesn't go to full term, or if you have an abortion, these cells still migrate into your bloodstream. Research has shown that if a mother's heart is injured, fetal cells will rush to the site of the injury and change into different types of cells that specialize in mending the heart. The baby helps repair the mother, while the mother builds the baby. How cool is that? This is often why certain illnesses vanish while pregnant. It's incredible how the mother's body protects the baby at all costs, and the baby protects and rebuilds the mother's back so that the baby can develop safely and survive. Think about crazy cravings for a moment. What was the mother deficient in that the baby made them crave? Studies have also shown cells from a fetus in a mother's brain 18 years after she gave birth. How amazing is that? If you're a mom, you know how you can intuitively feel your child even when they are not there. Well, now there is scientific proof that moms carry them for years and years, even after they have given birth to them. I find this to be so very beautiful.